have the five last examples of um, evaluation of limit using direct substitution, but the answer is not undefined. So, dito muna tayo sa part na to before tayo magpunta dito sa tatlo. Okay, so continuation lang to. So, this is the sixth example. So, all x's will be replaced by 2. So, that will be 4 times 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared plus 2 over 8 minus 1. So, 2 cubed is 8 minus 3 times 2 squared is 4 plus 2 over 8 kapag ka sinimplify nyo, that is 1 fourth minus 1. So, 4 times 8 is 32 minus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 fourth minus 1. Ngayon, unahin muna natin yung mga um, whole number bago itong fraction. Okay, so 32 minus 12 is 20. 20 minus 1 is 19. So, 19 plus 1 fourth. Pwede na natin sabihin na 19 and 1 fourth. Okay, pwede na yan. Or pwede namang, ito yung isang paraan. So, ito guys, gagawin nyo rin siyang fraction which is 19 over 1. Okay? Tapos, ang gagawin ninyo is the times nyo itong dalawa. So, 4 times 1 is 4. So, that will be your numerator, I mean denominator. Tapos, iba butterfly method nyo siya. So, 19 times 4 is 76. Okay? And then, gayahin nyo itong ano dito, plus. So, plus, 1 times 1 is 1. So, the answer is 76 plus 1, 77. 77 over 4. Okay, ito yung sagot kapag ka improper fraction. Ito yung sagot kapag ka um, mixed number. Now, let's try using the calculator. Ayan. Para may options kayo. So, 4 okay, times 2 raised to 3. Baba nyo muna. Minus 3 times 2 squared. Plus, so fraction to, ito pindutin, 2 over 8. Okay, minus 1. Ang maganda rito guys, pag equals nyo, ayun, diretso na. 77 over 4. Nasaan dyan yung 19 and 1 fourth? Shift nyo, tapos pindutin nyo ulit tong SD. Ayun, 19 and 1 fourth. E paano ma'am kung ang kalkyo ko ito, single line? So same pa rin, 4, okay, ito, ito tayo ha. Ito yung gayahin natin. So 4 times 2, Close parenthesis, raise to yung bahay or yung bubong. Yung ganito. Okay? Yung ganito itsura. Ayan. So, raise to 3. Okay? Minus 3 times 2. Close. Ito guys, may diretso squared. Ito squared. Plus 2. Ito yung over ha. Hindi divide. So, 2 over 8 minus 1. So, the answer will be, ayan, 19 and 1 fourth. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo makuha itong improper, shift nyo, katulad doon sa kanina, shift, tas ABC, yung ginamit nyo sa fraction. So, shift, ABC, the answer is 77 over 4. So, same lang yan. Next one is the square root of x over x squared plus 2x minus 5 as x approaches 0. So, square root of 0 over 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 5. So, the answer is, square root of 0 is 0. Okay? So, 0 over, syempre, 0 squared is 0. Plus, 2 times 0, 0 minus 5. So, basically, ang matitira dyan, 0 over negative 5. Which is, still okay. Hindi yan undefined, or hindi yan indeterminate. Okay? The answer is 0. Okay? If 0 is divided by any number, the answer will be 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. Pero pag 5 divided by 0, ayan, math error. Kasi guys, ang problema natin, kapag ka, ang sagot ninyo ay 0 over 0, o di kaya naman, number sa taas, tas 0 sa baba. So, bawal ang dalawang 0 sa numerator, tas denominator, bawal din ang 0 sa ilalim, sa denominator. Pero, kung ang 0 nyo ay nasa taas, or numerator, Ang sagot dun, guys, 0. So, that is still defined. Okay? Define pa rin yung answer na yan. Yan pa rin yung final answer ninyo. Okay? Next one. So, that is 3 over 2 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 1. So, 3 all over. So, ito, 0 na to. 
Kasi magiging 2 times 0, ito 0 na rin. So, wala na itong lahat. So, 3 over 1. So, the answer is positive 3. Okay? So, hindi nyo na ikakalgyo pag ganito kadali, guys. Pag nakita nyo na na ganyan kadali, lalo na to puro 0 naman siya. Okay? So, wag nyo na ikalgyo. Mas madali na i-substitute na lang. And then, the next one is this one. So, negative 3 cubed plus 2 times negative 3 squared minus negative 3. Ayan. Okay? Itong minus na to, ito yan. Tapos pinalitan yung x ng negative 3. So, meron tayong dalawang minus dyan. Yung isa minus, yung isa negative. Okay? And then negative 3 squared minus 7. So, the answer is negative 3 cubed is positive 20, negative 27 plus, so 2 times positive 9 because negative 3 squared is 9 and then plus 3 na to. Kasi negative times negative is positive 3. Okay? And then this one is 9 minus 7. So, negative 27. So, 2 times 9 is um, 18 plus 3. 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay? So, negative 27 plus 18 is negative 9. Tama? So, negative 9 plus 3 over 2. So, negative 9 plus 3, that is negative 6. Hindi ko na alam. Dito na lang. Okay? So, pag ganun. Negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So, that is defined. So, that will be your final answer. Ito guys, ito yung mga questions na ginagamitan ng pwede ng calc para mas mabilis. So, try natin ito. Ito palagi yung uunahin nyo. I mean, isasalpak nyo sa calc yung pinalitan nyo ng x. So, fraction siya. Okay, so parenthesis, negative 3, raised to 3, plus 2 times negative 3, parenthesis, raised to 2, or itong squared, minus negative 3. Okay, sa baba, negative 3 squared minus 7. Para pag equals nyo, pak, ayan na. So the answer is negative 3. Okay, ma'am, ito yung kalcio ko. Ito. Okay, so same lang. Pero, sabi ko, lalagyan ng parenthesis sa taas tsaka sa baba. Okay? So, sa taas, dalawa. Unang parenthesis. So, we will have 2. 1, 2. Okay? Negative 3. Close. Raise to 3 plus 2 times negative 3. Close parenthesis squared. Minus parenthesis negative 3. Tapos sa dulo, dalawa rin. So, dalawa. Okay? Yung over natin, ito, over, okay, so dalawa ulit, dalawa, negative 3, close quantity, squared, minus 7. So, close, so the answer is, ayan, negative 3. Okay? Let's proceed to the last example in defined limits. So, this one. So, the limit of 1 minus 2 over 3x, quantity raised to x. As x approaches negative 1. So, 1 minus 2 over 3 times negative 1. Close parenthesis. Raise to negative 1. So, 1 minus 2 over 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay? So, ito, pagka sinimplify nyo to, syempre, negative times negative, that will be positive. So, ang magiging itsura nyan is 1 plus 2 thirds raised to negative 1. What is 1 plus 2 thirds? So, 1 plus 2 thirds, gawin natin fraction pa rin. So, over 1 to. Tinuro ko to kanina dun sa um, first part. So, ito, ita times nyo to guys. Okay? So, that will be your new denominator. So, 1 times 3, that is 3. Tapos, i, ano nyo to? Um, butterfly method. So, 1 times 3 is 3. Tapos, kopyahin tong plus. And then, 2 times 1 is 2. So, the answer is 5 thirds. E may raise pa siya sa negative 1. Inverse lang naman yan or reciprocal. So, the answer is 3 fifths. Okay? Pwede naman dito guys, pagdating dito, 1 plus 2 thirds, that will be 1 and 1. Ay, that will be 1 and 2 thirds. ba? Pero, kailangan, ilagay nyo pa rin siya sa improper para ma-inverse nyo siya nung negative 1. Okay? So, eto, kung gusto nyo ilagay to sa improper, ka-times nyo to, 
So, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2, 5. Ito yung 5 na yun. Tapos, copy nyo lang itong 3. Ito yun. Okay? And then, inverse, 3 over 5. Now, if you want to use your calc, you may. Kung pwede naman sa school ninyo. Okay? So, parenthesis, 1. Ito yung gagayahin. Minus 2 over 3 times negative 1. Okay? So, labas muna tayo. I-move nyo yung cursor. Saka mag um, close parenthesis. Raise 2, negative 1. So, the answer will be 3 over 5 which is still the same with our answer. Okay? So, that's it. Ay, ito pa pala. Ayan. What if ito yung gamit? So, same pa rin. Parenthesis 1 minus 2. So, itong over na to, guys. Ang gagamitin ninyo, ito. 2 over 3 times negative 1 close dalawa. Ito yung um, ito, tsaka ito. Okay? So, dalawa. Raise to negative 1. So, the answer is, ayun. Ang lumabas, guys, 0.6. Siyempre, ang sagot natin, fraction. So, pagka ganyan, gusto nyo gawin fraction, pindutin nyo lang itong, um, ito, zoom ko. Ayan. Pindutin nyo lang itong ABC. So, the answer is still, naglalag siya, ayan. 3 over 5. So, that's it for the defined limits.